Hi friends, I am Ravina. Welcome to Spices and Aromas. Today I have a real treat for you. I am preparing a mouth-watering fish curry with coconut milk. Let's quickly run through the ingredients we'll need for this delicious dish. Please do watch the video till the end. I've taken 20 red chilies, one and a half tablespoon of coriander, half teaspoon turmeric, two pinch jeera, one small cup of coconut, marble sized tamarind. This is for the masala. Here I have 18 pieces of fish. I've taken mullet fish, coconut milk, thick and thin extract. Oil for frying, 7 cloves of garlic, 1 inch ginger, 4 green chilies, and 1 and a half onion. Now let's grind the masala paste. In goes the chilies, coriander, cumin, turmeric powder, tamarind, and 1 cup of coconut. I will grind this with 3 tablespoons of thin coconut milk. We want a nice smooth paste for our curry. I am adding 3 tablespoons of coconut oil and fry the chopped ingredients. First, I am adding 1 and a half onions. Let it fry for some time before I add the other ingredients. Let me add salt to taste and continue frying. Add the green chilies, the ginger and the garlic. Continue frying till they become soft. Please find the detailed recipe and the ingredients in the description box. The masala has become soft now. Just I want to show you how soft it should become. Now it's time to add our masala paste. Add the masala paste and continue frying. I want to share a little tip with you. We Mangalorians have a treasure trove of fish curry recipes. Did you know that masala we prepare is often tailored to a specific type of fish? This masala is suitable for pomfret, ladyfish or we also call it kane, silver bitti or we call it shetka, mullet, shouto and uh, snappers. It can be a red snapper or a white snapper. For the creamy goodness, I already added the thin coconut milk or the second extract. Now I just added some masala water that is got after cleaning the mixie. And finally, I am adding the thick coconut milk. I will be coming up with a variety of Mangalorean fish curry recipes. So please do subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram so that you do not miss any updates on my recipes. Let the curry start to boil before we add the fish pieces. Now let's add the star of the show, the fish pieces which I have marinated with salt and vinegar for just 15 minutes. Please check the description box for the marination process. This is optional. Marinating the fish in salt and vinegar soak helps to enhance natural flavor while vinegar acts as a gentle marinade in neutralizing and eliminating that distinct fish smell. Since I am preparing the mullet fish, I have got the gizzard. So I am adding that to the fish curry which is crispy and tasty. The link for cutting and cleaning the mullet fish is mentioned in the description box. Remember not to stir the fish once you have added it to the curry as it gets softer and it may break. Gently push the fish into the curry so that it gets soaked up and absorb the flavor or you can spill the vessel. Once it comes to a gentle boil, let it simmer and let the fish soak up all the delicious flavor. Turn off the flame and close the lid and let it rest for 30 minutes. And there you have it, a steaming bowl of fish curry with coconut milk, ready to be enjoyed with some fluffy boiled rice. Thanks for joining me in kitchen today. Until we meet next time, I wish you happy cooking.